What's good? What's good? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Oliver and Company Apparel. So today, let me show y'all what we're getting into. We're going to show y'all how to do the reason ashtray. You know, for everybody that want to get into the rolling tray set business and all that. So right here, we got parts A, parts B of the amazing clear cast. So right now, I already got it in the cup. So basically, so right here, I'm mixing up the resin. I'm mixing parts A and parts B. You want to just keep on mixing and mixing. I usually mix for anywhere up to like 10 to 15 minutes because if you keep on mixing for too long, you'll start to notice that the resin gets hot and you'll start feeling your hand get warm. And that's when you know that you've been mixing a little bit too long. So as you can see, I'm still mixing, still mixing. I've already been mixing for, you know, a little while. So now I'm just about to get my station ready because now I'm about to put the dye in the resin. It's a specific um, resin dye. You know, this is how you get the color of your trays, um, you know, coasters, whatever it is that you are designing, that you are using the resin for. You know, you want to get this ready because sometimes it could get messy. So it's a brand new dye. So I do have to cut it. And after I cut it, you know, just clean the scissors because you don't want to mess up the scissors just in case you got to use the scissors for something else. I don't have, you know, specific scissors for everything. That's like a multi-purpose, <laughs> multi-purpose tool right there. It's pretty much used to cut almost everything except for food. <laughs> so after you clean the station, you know, clean the scissors, make sure you wipe it. And after we get that all situated, you know, just do a little bit more mixing, you know, just to make sure it's right. Make sure everything is, you know, it's stirring fluently. Like you're gonna know because if it's too hard to stir, it's gonna be an issue. So you see the resin dot, I just pull a couple drops. Drip drip. You know, drip drip drip. Then after that, you know, you just put the dot to the side. You can get your mixing going on. So you see how it's changing the colors. So this one is gonna be a lighter color because it's not too much dye you know the more dye the darker the color basically you can always mix colors mix and match you know do a whole do it you can do it a whole bunch of ways but i just preferably for you know this particular trade i'm going to do i put the dye in the resin mix it up you know you're doing a little more mixing so all of this is pretty much like mixed into the time because if you was doing just a clear resin you know, you wouldn't even be doing this much mixing. So I'm just doing a lot more mixing. That's all included. So after I do the mixing, I'm gonna start putting in the, um, oh man, how did I forget? Yeah, I start putting in the, the sparkles, the glitter. There we go. So as you see, it's blue. It's not, it's not a dark, dark blue. It wasn't too many drops. It is a nice, nice shade of blue. Nice shade of blue for me. So after we, you know, finish mixing the dye, the dye in. So now for this particular piece, I'm gonna get some glitter. So right now I'm grabbing uh, the white, you know, the white looking glitter. You can, and you can get all of these things from Walmart, Joann's, Michael's, you know, all these, all these DIY, you know, essentials. So, you know, Sprinkle, sprinkle as much glitter as you want to pop, you know, in your resin. If you want to dash, you put a dash. After the, if you want more, you just put more. So then, as you see, you know, we're doing some more mixing, more mixing. So I tell you this right here, you know, if your wrist game ain't right, you're going to have some issues. But, you know, if you used to, you know, do a couple things here and there, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have, you're going to have a down pack, you feel me? whip game your whip game gonna be right so we just mix mix keep on mixing like that's one thing with this resin man you're gonna definitely keep on mixing like the way you mixing you're gonna think that you was in the sh you know you was a chef so as you see you know it's a little glittery got the the white looking glitter the blue dye in it like it's it's really like mad mixing. Like I said, you're going to be mixing for quite a while, for like 10 to 15 minutes. Like I said, if you're mixing and it starts getting hot, you know you've been mixing too long. <clears throat> so, you 
keep mixing, you know. Right now, I'm, you know, I finished mixing it up. So I'm going to grab some little, I can't even remember what these are called, but you know, those little decorative tools, decorative stuff. That's the, the ashtray mold, the resin ashtray mold. So what I'm going to do is just basically put a cup, sprinkle a couple of those in the mold first. So I sprinkle around, you, you know, you can position them in specific areas if you choose to. I kind of just like sprinkle them all around, you know, so this way it's just like, you know, it's a little spread out. You know, you could put as much or as little as you like. And this is something else that you can get for. I think I got this from uh, Walmart and it might have been like, uh, I know it's pretty cheap. It might have been like five bucks, maybe four dollars something like that maybe dollar tree or something has them cheaper but you know i just seen it and i just grabbed it i was like oh hey let me grab these so as you see i just sprinkled them in the mold first i don't sprinkle it in the um the resin not yet because i just feel like it's if you do that it's gonna get um like stuck together so i don't you know i don't do none of that so i'm just trying to clean up the area a little bit Sprinkle a little bit more. I kind of went like for this particular piece. I wanted a lot. So I wanted them spread out. And I think these are like the silver looking ones. I know they kind of like shining different colors. So as you see, they all spread out in the mold. So when I pour the resin on top, those would be more prominent at the top because basically the mold is upside down. So you see me doing a lot more mixing again. Like I tell you, we're going to be doing the mixing. So now. I just pour in the resin in. You want to usually start, you know, you want to try to start in the middle. Get all the corners. Make sure you're getting everything. You see how light blue that clear, you know, light blue that, that resin is. That's how the finished product is going to come up. So you just want to make sure you're getting all the corners. Make sure it's dripping down, you know, nice and smooth. You know, you're trying to get it even. And one thing for sure, two things for certain, make sure you have an even table, desk, floor, wherever you pouring this at, make sure it's even because you do not want your ashtrays lopsided. I'm telling you, I made a few ashtrays before. They was a little lopsided, you dig? <laughs> so you're just spreading it all over, you know, trying to get it even. Like, it's going to be even, but, you know, when it's setting and it's trying to harden and things like that, you know, you don't want it to be lopsided. So you definitely want it to be on an even surface. Definitely, definitely on an even surface. So you see, I got a little bit in there, you know, a little bit more. You want to try to get as much out, fill up as much as you can because that wasting, res you know, all that extra that extra res resin that's in there that could be going towards another project. And now we back. We are gonna check out the the ashtray. You know, I let it sit for like 24 hours. You gotta let it sit for a little minute. So we are gonna pop pop it out the mold. But look at that. Look at this. Look at the diamond shining. Look at that glitter dancing. Yeah, that glitter dancing, boy. See, look, and it's not too it's not too dark. I only put like five drops in there. So if you want. Yeah, trays to come out much darker than that. You're going to want to put a lot more drops in there. You see, I made it a little, made it a little nice, a little pretty. A little pretty, June. But yeah, that's how we do the trays, man. Thank you for everybody watching the video. You know, definitely leave a like, share, save, subscribe. Do all of that good, trains. You got a question, drop it in the comment box. Want some dope gear? Shop www.oliverandcompanyapparel.com.